And anytime you bring people together, there's a potential risk for transmission. With ghosts, superheroes, animals, and more on the hunt for candy this Halloween, Check -a -check. Check -a -check. <laughs> it's important to take the proper precautions. For distributing candy, you know, obviously the first thing is don't do it if you're sick. Uh, second thing is, you know, wear a mask while doing it. Brian Hartle, epidemiologist with Kent County Health Department, said reducing the risk of catching and spreading COVID-19 starts by switching up our setups. Doing it outside if you can, uh, maybe in the driveway, uh, setting up a table in front of you um, and where you place the candy on the table to have the kids come up and, and grab the candy as opposed to handing the candy out. So we don't want you know, people gathering uh, at a door uh, like typically happens. So if you can get a larger space uh, to go out there and do that. And says there's an opportunity for education when kids walk the streets. It's important for parents to help the kids understand that it's going to be different this year uh, with COVID-19. So talking to them about social distancing, not crowding around tables, not you know crowding around other kids. Kids. With an important note, a costume mask is never a replacement for a face mask. We want to make sure that people don't think that, that, okay, I'm a, I'm a gorilla and I'm, you know, have a mask and that's going to be, um, you know, good enough. If the kids would have trouble breathing with a mask and a costume mask on, wear a regular face mask as part of your costume. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services gives tips for festive fun, like throwing a neighborhood costume parade where attendees can easily distance outside or virtual parties for larger groups. Hartle adding it's also a good idea to keep some sanitizer handy at each stop of the night. In Kent County, Kylie Imbu, 13 on your side.